sweetheart. I'm so glad you're home. Don't worry, I'm fine. Thank goodness. Knew it couldn't be that bad. No way. Hot damn, we are good! <laughs> yes! Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Uh, hmm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> See you soon. Uh. At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. Avalanche. That sounds familiar. <laughs> all that debris piled up like mountain fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. You're such a kidder. What the? That's where I work. No friggin' way. Put that fire out, idiots! I was there yesterday. What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop, so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> Well, a man can only be real. 
Hmm. Arlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Uh. Hey! Uh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. When you want to talk to a little kid, don't go give another professional killer eyes. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it when again. Danger's part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. <laughs> not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. Going to happen so, to us? How it wasn't that bad? Us? It was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? 
yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it- There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. 
So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Nothing to report. Searching for candidates. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. The vacant lot up ahead is overrun with wild beasts. Best steer clear unless you're looking for trouble. Even if you are, be careful. Hey, this looks like a bloodstain to you. Shit. So I was at the Honey Bee Inn and I met this girl. Woman of my dreams! I don't know how much I spent on her, but I'm telling you, she's worth all the hill and that stuff. She sure sounds like it. I mean, hey. What's money good for a seventh heaven regular? Hey man, check it out. This song's pretty sweet, ain't it? You like it? You feeling it? Have a copy. Still rocking out to that song I gave you, bro? Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <sighs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. <sighs> we bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you uh. say? Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry, we'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Thanks! If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you could eat to satisfy. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. 
Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please? No, just imagine if rich people start thinking it's... My husband decided to go to the station and see if it had gotten any Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You'd better not cause Tifa any heartache. Don't you still have work to do? Well, go on then. Get back to it. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been Not here a while now? Five years, give or take. Was a couple of years back. Uh, but never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the Maybe, weapons store. Don't try anything. Hey, you. You'll get it. The kids you seem to think you're down. pretty cool. <laughs> last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted-ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Bera be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Not alone, you won't. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody! Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done.
all set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Mercantown. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? Lead on. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. This isn't just a cover. We really do want to keep the neighborhood safe. We grew up here, after all. Just so you know, the watch relies on residents' donations for funding. Let me have a look at your sword when you get back, huh? Won't be anyone who doesn't know about the new Merc when we're through. You can go all over town, meet all kinds of people, and no one bats an eye. Working for the Neighborhood Watch is the best kind of cover. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. are starting to look a little If any harm comes to her... Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. Hmm. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. And there's our first challenge. Show me what you got here. <laughs> wow, so that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. You're good at this. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. <laughs> I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Oh, Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <laughs> Oh, you okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask, after you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh, uh. Hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. Got new numbers for Monster Slay this month! 
Hold up. Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. Ugh. Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. Don't be a stranger. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on. Let's go chat up Weimer. <laughs> Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know. Could toss some work your way. Where is he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Hey, you just opened up shop. The tally of Monster Slain has been updated. Got new numbers for Monster Slain. Searching for candidates. Oh, hey there, Chiva. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate. My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. This won't take long. Not at all. No hold on. Get ready. Just like that, okay? I got you. Let's end this quick. Not a problem. All right, shit. Get ready. See ya. Let's do it right. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
was never in doubt. There. That should be enough intel for the kid. Cloud! You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I have developed new materia. Would you like to see it? I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep preparing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. That went well! Could be you found your calling. Eh. Uh, was alright, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? No matter your needs or your budget, our wide selection of items is guaranteed to satisfy. Hey there, Tifa. Welcome back. And you, the new merc in town looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? Them and their were rat buddies have been tearing up town looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway. They're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were-rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. You ask! All right. Get I don't see any doom rats around. Hmm. What do you think? Should we wait? You know, this might be a waste of time. Let's head back to the store and touch base for now. Fish from the plate! No matter your needs or your budget... Well? Rats too much to handle? I'm just messing with you. Heard you took out some were rats, which is nice and all, but the job was to wipe out the doom rats. No biggie. Get back out there and finish the job, and we're good. Don't look so glum. It's only a matter of time till they show. You'll get them this time for sure. All the items you can want, straight from the sun, creepy. The new stuff was the gold was absolutely... You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. 
You a fighter? No worries. We've got anything. Finally everything managed to get those doom rats, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. Was so dead in here, I thought I might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop, well, what do you say? I'll make it worth your while, of course. Give you some incentive. Talk you up to Weimer and my customers and anybody else who listen. You'll be swimming in work before you know it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, then. That's what I like to hear. Seventh Heaven, the new merc in town in my little store. I can see it now. We're gonna clean up. Hey, Tally, we got another job for you, Merc. A certain shopkeeper told me you paid him a visit. Thanks for helping him out. Just so happens there's another job I'd like to offer you. Now that I know you can handle yourself in a fight, we've got a real killer on the loose, you see. A rabid catch dog. Maybe you heard people talking about it. Shinra Muck gone feral. Last sighting was in Scrap Boulevard. Think you're up to it? I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Doubt anyone else around here stands a chance. Go get him, bud. Gotta make a stand. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I got your number. Keep it together. Let me handle this. Bingo! Gotcha! You got it? Freeze! My turn. Here we go. Get ready. It's on you. Okay, let's go. Chill out. Let's do this. Let's 
do this. Brace yourself. Keep it up. Strike hard and fast. Let's go. You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Took care of the dog, did you? Phew. We owe you one. Gotta say, I've never seen a Shinra breed like that before. Out of curiosity, when exactly did it show up? Oh, today. The first reports came in just this morning. Uh, why do you ask? Wait a minute. There's this crazy story about a Shinra research lab hidden right beneath our feet under the slums. Huh. Really? That's news to me. <laughs> and here I thought you might know something I don't. Well, I guess not. It's a big organization. I'm sure there's lots of secrets I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. You got the bastard. That's good enough for me. I swear all the places. Hey, where'd you guys go? Come out, come out! Come on, guys! Oh, hey there! Uh, is Marlene with you? No. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people would give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh, yeah. And they're all cats. I'm looking for cats? They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. Find my friends, please. Wait, did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. There's no guarantee. Wait, did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. talking about you right now. There's this amazing merc who can handle anything. Nothing I've done around here has been all that special, though. Oh, so you want more of a challenge, huh? I'm guessing you're the merc who dealt with those damn rats? That wasn't me who put in the request, but as a resident of Culvert Street, I appreciate what you did. Those disgusting vermin got the latest and greatest Shinra brand goods for you right here. Hello, hello! Oh, what do we have here? I'm guessing you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talager factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talager factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. The factory's off-limits. Factory's off-limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. 
We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. Good sweat. They're nothing. Compared to us, at least. shower. Gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Serial numbers filed off and everything. Forget Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did you? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you're needed over at the pillar. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Bet you can't get enough of this, huh? Well... Now I get it. If you're good at something, might as well make it your living. May not know you, but I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 